Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Hamed and I'm your host. So guys, after a long time, I have came up with another computer vision related video. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning like how we can perform object detection, object tracking and object counting with the help of YOLO V8, ByTrack and, and amazing open source computer vision library called Roboflow Supervision. So guys, many of you have already requested me for this particular video, like how we can perform these kinds of tracking and counting, okay, with this kinds of tool. So finally, I have came up with this particular video. So this is going to be one amazing video, guys. Make sure you're watching this video till the end. And if you need anything from my side, and if you are having any kinds of questions, what you can do, just write down the comment in the comment box. So I'll be happy to pick up that particular request. So guys, in this video for the object detection, actually, I'm going to use the latest model called YOLO V8. And for, and for object tracking, I'm going to use the state of the art by track and guys I'm going to use one amazing open source library called Roboflow Supervision so what I will do guys I will combine these two tasks and I will also make one object counter on top of it so that is why actually I'm going to use this Roboflow Supervision library and there are some advantages to use this lower flow supervision library I'm going to discuss this part as well no need to worry about so guys in this video I'm not going to uh, train any kinds of uh, object detection model for this actually I have already created uh, some dedicated video on my YouTube channel so if you are uh, already watching my channel so I think you have probably seen like how to train these kinds of object detection model with the help of YOLO V8, YOLO V5 and YOLO V7. So guys if you check my YouTube channel I already created the video regarding object detection like how we can train this YOLO V8 on our custom data okay. So this is the video actually you can refer. In this video actually I'm going to use the pretend model on top of that actually I'm going to perform my task. And I have already uh, told you the tools and technology I'm going to use for this video. So here I'm going to use YOLO V8 uh, for the object detection task and by track for the object tracking and Roboflow supervision library I'm going to use for the object counter. Okay. Uh, so what I will do, I will combine this object tracking and object uh, detection together. Then I will be making one object counter on top of it. Let's say if you want to do the object counter. So first of all, you need to detect that particular objects. Then you need to track it. Then on top of that, you can perform the counter operation, right? So that is why actually we first of all need to do the detection, then do the tracking, then we'll be doing the counter operation. And to make our task easy, actually, I'm going to use this row flow supervision library because this is like very easy to use library and uh, it makes like a life very easy. So whatever code actually you'll be write, writing frequently. So what they have done, actually, they have already written this particular code for you. So you don't need to worry about the coding part. So guys, uh, first of all, let me uh, give you some brief introduction of this uh, RoboFlow supervision library. So what you can do, just write uh, RoboFlow, uh, RoboFlow supervision. Okay, if you just uh, search it on Google, so you will get this particular GitHub. So guys, this is the library they have developed. This is the tool they have developed. And this is completely open source. So with the help of this RoboFlow supervision, you can uh, not only perform this counting operation and all, you can also perform some more tasks as you can see. Whether you need to load your data set from your hard drive or draw the detection on the image or video or count how many detections are in a zone. Okay, as you can see, this is the things actually we are going to use and uh, see guys how to install this supervision library and all everything they have given. And with the help of that, actually, you can also load up the model YOLO V. Uh, uh, yellow v8 related model you can also load and you can also use it for the annotator purpose okay as you can see and for the data set loader actually you can also use and they have given lots of uh, like you can say uh, utility of for this uh, uh, roboflow supervision library okay as you can see you can do lots of thing okay you can perform lots of thing okay so guys what you can do is just uh, go, go with this particular github and try to read the documentation like what are the functionality they are giving okay so in this video i'm going to use uh, some of the functionality from this uh, roboflow supervision okay and i will tell you like uh, why we need to use it and what is the advantage to use this particular uh, library okay so guys uh, for this actually what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna first of all uh, open up one collab notebook because whatever code actually i'm going to write uh, so i'm going to write on my google collab because actually here you will get one free gpu okay if you're not having let's say collab pro account it's completely fine you can also access free gpu from here also so guys here what i will do i'll first of all create one new notebook so guys i already opened up my uh, google collab so first of all i'm going to give a name of this notebook so this is the name i'm going to give and here, first of all, I'm going to select the GPU. So here I'm using guys uh, uh, Collab Pro. So that's why I'm having this kind of premium GPU. But if you're not having premium GPU, so what you can do, you can use T4 GPU. Okay, so this is the free GPU. So I'm going to select this uh, V100 and save it and make sure I have taken high RAM as well. Uh, yeah, so high RAM and save it. And now I'm just going to connect this particular notebook. Uh, so guys, as you can see, my notebook is already connected. Now, if you want to check whether you got the GPU or not, you just execute this particular command called NVIDIA uh, SMI. 
so it will uh, show you the GPU actually you got. So here I got Tesla V100. Okay, everything is fine from uh, my side. Now here, the first thing actually you can check the current directory you are in because this is very much important whenever you are working with any kinds of projects. Just check the current directory you are in. So I'm inside content. That means in this directory. Okay. So here, first of all, what I will do, I will just uh, upload one video here. Okay. Because uh, I'm going to... Uh, show you this uh, detection and count and uh, this tracking uh, with one vehicle uh, actually video okay uh, we'll be doing the vehicle tracking and vehicle detection and vehicle counting so for this i have some vehicle related video okay vehicle moving on the road so guys these are the video actually i downloaded from the youtube okay you can also download from the youtube so in this video actually i'm going to use uh, actually vehicle uh, like you can say related videos okay and i'm going to perform the task on top of it so here i'm just going to um just comment out upload video okay so here what i will do just try to upload this particular video so this is my video uh, inside the video folder i am having this car footage and let me just upload and let me show you how this uh, footage will look like so here i am having two footage i'll just uh, show you both of them uh, so see guys uh, this is the car footage actually i collected from the youtube and car is moving on the road okay so we just need to detect the car uh, we just need to detect the card then uh, we need to track the card okay and after that we'll be counting like how many cards are moving so this is one video and i'm having another video so let me show you so this is another video so this video looks good actually because i have two track here okay so left hand side uh, like cards are coming and right hand side actually cards are moving okay so whenever we'll be doing the counting operations at that time uh, actually we can count both of them like how many cards are coming and how many cards are actually moving okay so both we can track so guys uh, these two footage actually i'm having right now so what i will do first of all i will upload uh, this particular footage uh, this car footage mp4 okay so this is the footage i upload it and what i will do i'll just uh, make a source path so i already created this particular notebook so most of the code i will copy paste from my previous notebook because i just want to save the time okay same code i don't want to write again and again so i'll just copy this kinds of path so this is my car footage path and I'm going to give the path here. Okay, so this is the uh, my source uh, video path. Okay, now let me define another source, I think. Um, let me just try to upload that source also. Upload. Mm, vehicle counting. So this is what actually I'm also uploading on my, uh, you can say Google Collab. So guys, I will share both video with you. Okay, you can use any of the video. It's uh, uh, fine. Okay, but I'm going to use both video to show you. Okay, how things will happen. And if you want, actually, you can also download any kinds of video from the internet. It's completely fine. So guys, it's uploading. So in between, what I can do? First of all, uh, I'm going to install uh, this YOLO V8. Okay, and how to install YOLO V8? Uh, I already showed in this particular video. Okay, and how to train it on the custom data and everything. I showed it. So just try to refer this particular video and try to understand so here i'm going to directly install this yellow v8 for this actually you need to install one package called ultralytics okay so this is the package actually you need to install and uh, after installing this package actually you would be able to access this yellow v8 now let me install so guys installation is done now if you want to check whether everything is working fine or not so you can uh, use this particular code so here i'm importing ultralytics okay Okay, it's done. Now I also need to install something called byte track because uh, byte track I'm going to use for this uh, object tracking. And this is the state of the art uh, actually uh, model. So let me show you this byte track. Uh, if you just search over uh, internet. So this is the link of the byte track. Okay, official GitHub as you can see. But this is not like very uh, organized. Okay, organized actually uh, GitHub. So if you want to install this, so you need to write some additional things, okay, to install this thing and use it uh, with your YOLO V8. So you need to install some more libraries and all. I'll tell you, okay, I'll uh, share this notebook with you so that you can also install uh, with me, okay. So see guys, this is the byte track uh, official uh, uh, GitHub as you can see, and this is the performance of this byte track. So here uh, you can see, and they have also included the paper and everything, okay. And if you want to read uh, like what is byte track and all about and uh, what was the, like you can say, uh, score and all everything you can read from here and uh, this is the performance guys of this byte track see uh, 
it's like very crowd here but still it is able to track all the person okay perfectly so uh, it's like very good state of the art tracker okay so that's why i'm going to use this kind of byte track so uh, i need i need to install this byte track for this actually mm, you need to use this particular code snippet so let me just show you uh, see guys this is the code snippet to install this uh, byte track first of all make sure you are inside your uh, uh, current working directory so let me just set my current working directory so guys this is the current working directory i'm having right now so which is nothing but uh, content so let me show you pwd so i'm inside a content that means this is the current working directory so here i want to clone this particular repository after cloning actually i'm installing uh, some of the package okay with that i'm also installing requirement.txt as you can see and after that actually i'm just uh, importing yolo x okay because if you are installing this byte track you also need to import yolo x okay yolo x would be automatically installed in backend so that is why actually i have written these are the code okay and uh, don't worry about like how i collected these are the thing because i uh, faced lots of issue okay uh, whenever i was installing this uh, byte track then i just uh, saw lots of solution and all then i prepared this code snippet for you okay so what you can do you can use my code snippet and you can easily execute this particular code now let me just execute and install this byte track for me now guys here if you see uh, it will clone this byte track repository first of all here then it will install all the requirement package and my video is still uploading so i'll be waiting for some times then i think i can use this particular video and in between i'll show with this video okay car footage video the first one i already showed you uh, so guys as you can see installation is done now just to test whether everything is working fine or not I'll just importing some of the libraries uh, here and uh, make sure everything is working. Yeah, so everything is working fine. Now I also need to install something called RoboFlow Supervision, uh, this library. So for this, uh, I can use this particular command I already showed you. So the, here is the command guys. You can use pip to install this particular uh, RoboFlow Supervision. And I'm going to use a uh, one specific version of this RoboFlow Supervision because what happens actually this is currently like new research uh, going on. So uh, every day they are doing some changes on this library. So if you're not uh, using specific version, so what will happen, it will install the current version and some of the functionality uh, like uh, uh, would be missing there and it will get uh, added. Okay, so some of the functionality, some sometimes they will, uh, you can say, uh, delete some of the functionality they will add in this particular library. So that is why I'm going to use this particular version because in this particular version, actually, the uh, code snippet actually I'm going to write uh, okay later on everything is available okay so that is why always try to use the specific version whenever you are using any kinds of latest uh, tools and technology okay so let's install this supervision library so here if you see it is installing so it will take some times and after that i think we can start with see guys it's done now what i will do i'll just test it everything is fine or not so i'll copy this code and here if you see i'm importing supervision li uh, supervision library and it is working fine okay and this is the specific version i got now what I will do guys, I will load uh, one pre trained model from the YOLO V8 and how to load pre trained model and all I already discussed uh, in my uh, this video. Just make sure you're watching this particular video, okay? And here you can uh, easily load this model, okay? If you are using Ultralytics package, so easily you can load the model. Just define the model name and after that, you can load the model, okay? Uh, so you can actually use this uh, yellow v8 model in a two way one you can write uh, python script and another actually way you can uh, use this particular model okay using uh, command line interface okay both uh, it is possible i already discussed this part in my uh, previous video that video okay make sure you're watching that so first of all i will uh, show you with the help of this command line uh, uh, command okay so for this first of all make sure you are uh, inside the content directory so now i'm inside the content directory as you can see, I'm inside my content directory. Now, this is the command, guys. So, you just need to execute this particular command um, uh, to actually do the object detection task. Okay, as you can see here, I'm writing YOLO command and task is equal to detect. I want to perform detection because with the help of this model, you can also perform uh, segmentation as well, classification as well. That is why you need to specify the task and uh, mode is equal to predict. I only want to do the prediction on top of my data. Okay, the video I'm having currently and this is the model actually so the same model actually i'm using as you can see yolo v5 uh yolo v uh, sorry yolo v8 x pt model and there are so many model if you go to yolo v8 uh, repository yolo v8 github okay if you go this uh, github repository in the mod section actually we'll see lots of models are available uh here if you see guys uh, lots of models are available okay so i'm using this particular model 
you can use any of the model so this is the smallest version of the model uh, sorry i'm using x model so this is the x model guys this is the x model okay so this is the smallest model i'm using and you can use any of the model it's up to you and this is the confidence score i'm ascending and source video i think you remember we already defined the source video you uh, path here okay so this is the source video path i'm using this card footage mp4 you can also use a uh, vehicle counting mp4 it is completely fine but first of all let's do it uh, so I'm going to use this particular uh, video and let's do that detection. So if I execute and what it will do, it will load this particular video and it will uh, perform the detection on top of my entire video. Okay. So actually here you don't have any access on the frame. Like if you let's say want to perform uh, on top of like only one frame from the video. So you don't have any access here. Okay. For this, uh, what you need to do, you need to use this uh, uh, RoboFlow supervision library. So it will give you that kinds of functionality. I'll show you. It's like very uh, easy to use. So here I got an one error. So source. Okay. So here it should be, I think one. Okay. Maybe I defined as one. Uh, let me check the path once. Yeah. So this is underscore one, not source video path. Hmm. Now I think everything is fine. Now let me execute. Now guys, as you can see, it is taking all the frame one by one and it is doing the inference and here it will create one folder for you called runs. Inside that actually it will uh, save you that detection uh, videos, okay? And after that we can download and we can watch it. So first of all, let's complete it, okay? And I'll show you like how this uh, detection will happen. So guys, as you can see, detection is done and it has saved uh, this particular video inside detect folder, inside predict and here is the final footage. Okay, now what you can do, you can download this particular footage. So I already downloaded it. So let me show you uh, the inference. So here I already downloaded this particular footage. So what I can do, I can open it. Uh, so see guys, this is the final uh, detection I got. And detection is pretty good guys. As you can see, it is also detecting this uh, invisible cards as well as the person. Okay, as well as the uh, see, it is detecting everything, trucks and uh, traffic light also it is detecting. Okay, it's like very amazing model. And see, bus is also coming. I think, uh, yeah, it's a train. See, now it has become train. Previously, it was looking like bus. That's why uh, it was detecting as a bus. Okay, it's completed. That means everything is fine. Uh, everything is working fine. And we got to know like how to uh, perform the detection. Okay. Now see guys, you have performed the detection on top of the entire video. Now let's say I want to only perform the detection on top of one particular frame, okay, of, of that video. So how to do it, okay. For this actually, if you are doing it manually, you need to write some custom code for that. First of all, you will be using OpenCV, load the video, take the frame, load the model, detect the, uh, like you can say, detect on top of the frame, then again, uh, uh, save as a image okay so you need to write tons of code for that but if you are using this uh, uh roboflow supervision library okay roboflow supervision library they have already written this particular code for you and they have already created this kinds of library so what you can do that is why actually they are telling uh, we write your reusable computer vision tools okay so the code actually will be writing more and more okay for your task this kinds of code they have already written for you so what you can do actually you can install it and you can directly use this particular functionality for you okay so that is why we'll be using this particular uh, roboflow supervision library it is one of the amazing library actually i was exploring that's why i thought let's also integrate with this kind, uh, kinds of projects okay now for these guys uh, what i will do first of all let me show you mm, see first of all you need to uh, you need to import some of the library from this supervision okay as you can see i have imported some of the library so this is the things actually you need for the get video frame generator so what it will give you it will give you one particular frame okay it will give you one particular frame from this video so it will return actually so many frames from that actually you can take any kinds of frame okay so that is why uh, you can use this particular method okay from the supervision itself then uh, if you want to show frame inside the notebook okay you can use this particular method but if you want to show uh, any kinds of frame in the jupyter notebook so what do you need to do you need to install some of the more package okay there actually it is not required everything is written inside the super, uh, su supervision library okay no need to worry about then detection then box annotator then color uh, color palette okay so everything they have given okay as a functionality now let me import them and what i will do let me show you how things will happen so first of all i will be uh, uh, defining my models uh, see what what it will return actually it will return all the classes name actually having uh, in this model so let me just print them see guys so it has trained with uh, something called coco data set okay coco data set 
Cocoa is a, you can say, object detection uh, benchmark data set. It is already trained with Cocoa data set. And these are the objects that are available inside Cocoa data set, okay? Now here, if you see, I'm using vehicle, okay? I'm using vehicle, uh, actually, uh, a video here. So for vehicle, actually, these are the class ID. As you can see, if I go to the two, so two is a car, then three is a motorcycle, then bus, airplane, okay? So I have taken only those ID, which is available inside my video, as you can see. That's why I have created one class ID, okay? Now what I will do, I'll execute this particular code. Now here is the final code uh, to perform the detection in just single video frame, as you can see. So what I can do, actually, I can write one comment. So predict, I'm just doing the predict on a single frame, okay? Predict and annotate on a single frame, okay? And this is the final code. And here I will give my, I'll give my uh, source underscore one because uh, this is the video I'm having currently. First of all, you need to get one a generator. So first of all, you will be getting the frame of the video. After that, you will be defining the uh, B, uh, box annotator. Inside that, you need to uh, define the color uh, palette, okay? Then thickness and text thickness, okay? Everything you can uh, change here. Like how uh, how much thick would be the uh, uh, like text, okay? Then how much thick would be the, you can say text, uh, border line, everything you can uh, change here. And now you are creating one iterator. Now you are uh, doing the prediction. After that, you are getting the detection boxes. Then you are uh, assigning the label. After that, you are just, uh, uh, what you are doing, you are just showing on the notebook. Okay, let me show you how it will show. Uh, show. So here, if I execute, see, it will do the detection. Uh, first of all, it has take uh, it has taken one particular frame from that video. See, this is the first frame of my video. It has taken that uh, frame and it has done the uh, detection. As you can see, it is card. Now you can also uh, change the thickness. Okay, let's say you want uh, this text thickness. Uh, let's say if I reduce this thickness, maybe this text would be a little bit smaller. See guys, text thick. Uh, it is a little bit smaller. Now I think uh, I can also reduce this thickness. See, all the actually customization optional are available right now. See, this box thickness has been also reduced, okay? So that's how you can control this thing. But whenever I was executing the command, okay, command line, so there actually you, don't, you didn't have any kinds of control. So that's why actually we are using the supervision library and it gives like so many functionality. So we don't need to write so many codes for this. I can directly use this supervision library and I can use it, okay, for my task. And if you understand the Python code, I think you are understanding what is happening. First of all, we are getting the detection. After that, we are assigning the label and we are uh, doing the, uh, you can say annotate and we are just showing on top of the notebook, okay? So these are the common code I think you saw inside any uh, object detection code, okay? And here the main thing actually we are using called supervision library. Now guys, uh, this is for the one frame uh, detection, okay? Now, if you want to do for the multi-frame, that means uh, for all the video, okay, all the video frames, what you need to do, you need to write the same code inside a for loop, okay, or inside a while loop, so that it will take all the frame one by one, it will perform uh, all the jobs, okay, then it will uh, save as a video. But uh, what I will do, uh, with that actually, I will also integrate my tracker and counter, okay, so, so because two tasks I have already defined, as you can see, I'm going to perform tracking and counting operation as well, because we know like how to do the detection, okay. So I, instead of showing the detection uh, like this thing, what I will do, I will integrate my tracker as well as the counter with that particular code, okay. So for this, what I will do, uh, I already written this particular code, so let me just comment it out. So here is the comment, this is for the uh, track, detect, and count uh, for the whole video, okay? So here, first of all, you need to um, assign some of the parameter for your byte tracker, okay? So if you visit the byte tracker GitHub, so they're telling if you are using byte tracker, you need to assign these are the parameter, first of all, okay? You need to create one um, class, okay? Uh, class entity. Inside that, you need to define these are the thing. Now, I have already defined. Now here, what I will do, I will again check my current working directory. So I'm inside my... Um, Content. Okay, it's fine. Now I will use my second video. So what I will do, I'll just uh, copy this name as it is. So here is the name I think I can copy. And uh, maybe I can mention it here. Okay, so now what I will do, I'll just name it as source path only. Okay, source path only and I will just copy this path and I can mention it here. So this is the video I'm, uh, I'll be using, okay, for this tracking counting. Uh, now what I will do, I will again import some of the libraries from my supervision. So as you can see, I'm importing point video info, then linear counter. Okay, so these are the thing are required. 
so uh, these are thing actually they have given in their documentation i've just copy pasted from them only okay i'll share my notebook so you can use this notebook as a template okay so let me execute now uh, first of all what i will do i will set one uh, uh, i'll set some variable so here i'm setting the start line and uh, end line okay so what will happen actually whenever you will do the count operation okay so you first of all need to create one line okay on the video uh, on the on the screen so whenever uh, this car is uh, you can say crossing this line it will make a count operation for this this is the uh, location i have given like from where this line will start and from uh, where it will end and uh, see guys uh, this is the x and uh, y uh, for the starting point and this is the x and y for the end point for the line i'll tell you whenever i'll do that final direction i'll tell you and this is the target path that means uh, with the help of this name actually my video will save okay now let me execute now if you want to see the video information like uh, what is the video width and length and uh, the fps everything you can see with the help of this video info see video info is already one uh, method inside uh, supervision library uh, so if you just call it and give your video path here it will uh, give you all the information related video like how, what is the width what is the height of the video uh, what is the fps and what is the total frames in this particular video so this is one of the like you can some amazing uh, open source library i was exploring so uh, you can use it but if you want to let's say uh, uh, create your custom uh, python code for this you need to write tons of code uh, to create a video information and all but using one particular line we can uh, get the video information okay so that is why actually it uh, makes our task very easy now uh, what i will do guys i need some utility related functionality so these are the utility related functionality you need uh, because it will do the detection to boxes okay then it will perform track to boxes so basically whenever you will be do the detection okay so whenever you will pass that detection to the tracking so you need some other data type so this will convert these are the data type okay with respect to the input you will be giving for the next task okay that's why these are the utility related uh, function we need okay so this thing actually i already got from the documentation itself i'll just copy paste it okay no need to understand this part just try to copy paste the same code as it is now after that this is the final code so here if you see i'm using the same code i have written for the single frame but here everything i'm writing inside a for loop so i'm taking one by one frame i'm performing first of all as you can see a detection after detection I'm performing something called tracking. After tracking, I'm performing something called counting operation. Okay, with the help of this supervision library, as you can see, that is why we have imported so many things: line counter, line counter annotator, video sync. Okay, then we have points. So everything uh, it will actually uh, take care. Only we just need to use this particular for loop, and here we just need to specify my source video path. Okay, everything it will take care. See, first of all, I'm loading the video, loading my byte tracker object byte tracker is the tracking uh, you can say uh, model then i'm also taking the uh, generator that means video frame okay i'm taking one by one all the frame and here is the um, object i'm initializing and inside the for loop i'm doing one by one for the all the frame and guys once uh, everything is done so i'm saving uh, the video with this name okay in my current folder okay now let me execute and show you how things will work so let me execute see guys it is first of all loaded the model then it has perf uh, started the detection tracking as well as the counting uh, for all the objects i'm having in this video now once it is done i will show you uh, so guys as you can see it is done now i got my final video here if you see video counting results.mp4 now i already downloaded this particular video on my local now let me just open it and show you how it will look like see guys this is the video now i think i can open it uh, see guys this is the final results actually i'm having so first of all if you see it is detecting it is tracking see this is the tracking this is the tracking id and once it is moving see it is counting okay so this cars is out that's why it is giving out and if it is moving from here that means in this uh, card is actually getting in okay so that's how see things are happening and this is like very uh, amazing okay as you can see and let me show you that border line as well see guys this is the border line it is starting point and this is the end point that's why we have given this parameter i think now this thing is cleared okay why we have given this parameter so this is the parameter guys i have given okay start line and end line okay so it's like very easy uh, task actually if you are using this uh, supervision library 
uh, but if you are doing it manually so you need to write tons of code and you will be facing lots of issue okay so that is why you can use this uh, roboflow supervision library okay it's like very uh, good library and you can uh, do lots of things with the help of this supervision library you can uh, go with this uh, github and we you can also go with the documentation you can learn even they have also given the tutorial as you can see you know, like you can learn you can do also speed estimation then traffic analysis okay so everything you can perform with the help of this uh, supervision library okay and still uh, this is in research as you can see the last commit was uh, 12 hours ago only okay so every day they are doing some changes in this library and if you are having any issue what you can do you can also create an issue here and you can update the issue okay they will uh, take care about your issue and all so yes guys this is all about of our this uh, object detection object tracking and object counting with the help of this yellow v8 and uh, by track and uh, this roboflow supervision library okay i hope you like this particular video if you have liked this particular video make sure you have uh, subscribed to my channel and just share this video with your friends and family and if you need anything from my side okay you can let me know in the comment okay i will uh, feel free to uh, create uh, a content regarding that uh, particular topic okay so yes guys uh, this is all from my side so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i'll see you next time